Welcome to Novell, where we are making IT work as one. Today we'd like to introduce you to one of Novell's Quick Fix On Demand training modules. This Quick Fix training discusses SUSE Linux troubleshooting. Brad Tunney will be the presenter for this video. Welcome to the Advanced Technical Training Troubleshooting on a SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 10 platform. This class is divided up into two different sections. Introduction to the troubleshooting method, which is where we actually go through the methodology of troubleshooting. And troubleshooting tools, which is just a small group, not complete, but a small group of tools that can be helpful in troubleshooting an issue on a Celeste 10 server. So into the troubleshooting methodology we go. Again, this is divided up into multiple sections, just a method of troubleshooting that can apply to virtually any software environment or any operating system. In this section, we're going to talk about three different things, types of faults, problem analysis, and problem diagnosis. Types of faults are just broke it up, break the faults into four different categories. Uh, problem analysis is where we do our fact gathering. We're gathering information about what the problem is. And diagnosis is where we actually try and figure out what the issue or the answer is. There are four different types of faults or categories that faults can fall into. Application faults, operating system faults, firmware faults, and hardware faults. This is by no means the only way to categorize them. It just is the easiest for this type of environment, this class. You are watching a small portion of a Novell Quick Fix On Demand training module. The complete module contains all the necessary information that you will need. Let's continue. Now, problem analysis is where we're actually gathering facts on what happened on the machine, what is actually the issue. There's a list of things that we want to ask whoever reported the issue and basically document all these findings so that we can use this information in trying to actually troubleshoot the problem. The first thing we have to do when we're trying to analyze the problem is to talk to the customer and find out what the actual problem is. We want to be pretty concise, get from them a fairly specific statement about what the issue is. So a customer saying it's broken doesn't really tell you a whole lot and it gives you too wide of an area to try and look at. A customer saying whenever I connect from my machine to the server with FTP to download files it fails. This gives you an area to look at or gives you scope, gives you some place to start. You have two machines, the client machine and the server, and you have a service to look at. The problem may be larger than this, but it gives you an area to start. Now we move into problem diagnosis. We've done our fact gathering, and now we're actually going to try and apply these facts that we've gathered and try and come up with a cause for the fault and then a solution. And these are two different things, and they can vary in timeline, meaning it may be very, very easy to figure out what the cause of the fault is, but then fixing it may take hours. Or it could take days to figure out what the problem is, and fixing it could be as simple as editing a file. Now we're going to talk about troubleshooting tools. These are tools that are available on the command line to help you resolve an issue. They are in no way a complete list of tools. They're just a few that I put together that I think are extremely helpful. These troubleshooting tools are broken down into five different categories. General purpose tools, file contents tools, file system tools, network tools, and logging. Thank you for joining us for this Quick Fix Novell On Demand training module overview. This module contains great detailed information on how to apply the concepts that were presented in this video. For further information on Novell's On Demand training and how to purchase this and other Novell Quick Fix On Demand training, please click on the URL provided to the right of this video in the description box.